Welcome to another Genshin video. Today is a good one. Let me just tell you about it real quick. So I'm going to be talking about the Genshin Impact 1.7 or 2.0 update. That's going to be coming very soon. And this is some things that you might need to consider doing before it comes out. Because you might need to hear this. So the new Genshin update is coming real soon. And we all know it will probably have an Azuma in it. Because of that, we're gonna have to do a lot of farming for the new characters that are gonna be coming up. But the one thing that will never change about farming is nearing, is not nearing, is needing character EXP material or Mora. So for the next two weeks, three weeks, I'm gonna be only doing Mora farming, you know, leyline farming. So Mora as well as EXP books. The reason I'm doing this is because, um, well, I just spent all my Mora on a new character and I kind of just need the whole, you know, Mora, e character, XP bucks, and whatever it is for the new character that's going to be coming out. So if you guys are planning on getting the new character that's going to be coming out alongside Genshin 1.7 and or 2.0, the new Inazuma patch, uh, it's probably going to have a new character, like pretty much off the bat. Um, if not, it's, you m might still want the character. So you need character EXP material as well as Mora. So please don't forget to do that. You have a lot of time now to be doing that. Especially if you didn't roll for Kazaha. Um, yes, it is important for you guys to do all your artifact farming as well as talent book farming. However, um, you get a good amount of EXP books as well as Mora first. And then I would recommend you guys get the talent books after that. The reason why I'm telling you guys not to get talent books now is because for the new Inazuma character, you're probably going to have a new Inazuma domain for talent books themselves. That's why I'm going to ask you to hold off on talent books right there. Other than that, you don't really need anything else. You can grind the you know enemies that are in your book list here. Uh, just the normal stuff in case you guys want to get a new weapon and whatever it may be. Speaking of getting new weapons, you might not have enough material for that. <laughs> Especially even if you summon or whatever it may be, you might not have enough material. Me, I just used up all my my weapon EXP material um, after I leveled up my level 90 Wolf's Gravestone. So I have like no material left over. As you guys can see, I have only 109 crystal chunk that I'm converting into the uh, the weapon exp material and let me tell you it's super 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 hard for me to get this material it's, as you know just it's really tough to get this character weapon level up material especially because well you kind of just you know start using it and sometimes if you use it you kind of use too much and <laughs> i leveled up my level uh, 90 wolf's gravestone and that took like what thousand of these it's just an insane amount and you can never have enough of these that's why just ore farming every single day is super important and i can never stress that enough it's super super important for you guys to do that and obviously it's gonna drain your mora like no other and it, it's just an unfortunate time because it's 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 it takes it all away and it's kind of really unfortunate but it is what it is and if for what it's worth i think everyone should be doing this regardless of the inazuma update coming out or not just start or or farming so the new weapons that might come out you could level them up and use them if they're three star if they're four star you might be interested in them and it might be a new great weapon for whoever character or any electro character that might be new for example kaching or Maybe Beidou if there's a new, you know, Electro type Claymore. And all in all, we we should probably just start ore farming regardless of the new update. And I feel like a lot of people are missing out on that anyway. Alright guys, so one more thing I wanted to talk about is maximizing the amount of summons you're, that you're going to have on the new banner. And there's 100% going to be a new banner in this. And if you guys are gonna spend on the banner that's currently out right now for Kazaha, I want you to spend with the utmost importance. Just 
everything you spend on make sure you're spending it wisely because there isn't much time left you guys can see here i have 3305 primer gems as well as 15 of these acquaint or intertwined fates so i want you guys to keep in mind that these intertwined fates and these primer gems you're gonna probably use a lot of them when the new banner drops so if you want these constellations right here please decide that you really need those if you don't really need those if you can go on without it decide not to, consider not summoning on this because there's going to be a new banner and you might want to start saving from now there's exactly two weeks remaining on the Kaza banner itself which means there's around two weeks until a new update anyways guys that's going to be it for today's video hope you guys did enjoy if you did consider liking this video subscribing to the channel see you guys in the next video very soon goodbye